Hey there, friends, it's Pastor Matt coming to you with a St. Mark COVID-19 update. We are slowly beginning to reopen our ministries to the public, and as we do, here's what you need to know about Sundays, about our school, and about stewardship. Let's start with Sundays. Effective immediately, Sunday mornings at St. Mark will consist of both an online and an on-site worship service. Nine o'clock is a simple on-site celebration lasting roughly 45 minutes in total and observing all mandatory mitigation practices, such as social distancing and the wearing of masks. The offering of refreshments will be minimal and there will be no childcare or St. Mark kids. And the service itself will be structured so as to minimize exposure while allowing us to enjoy the essentials of gathered corporate worship. As restrictions and mitigation practices ease publicly, our plan is to add more and more back into this on-site service. 10.30 a.m. will continue as a full online-only service. And you may have noticed that we've added St. Mark Kids into the experience. Each week, kindergarten through fifth grade can tune into the live stream starting at 10.15 a.m. for a time of teaching, story, and song just for them. And we encourage those who take part in this online service to not just watch, but to invite others who are online to do the same. Our online service has proven to be a very effective tool in connecting with new people. Uh, this schedule, one service on site and another online, will continue for the time being with regular reevaluation by our leaders here at St. Mark. And of course, we'll do everything we can to keep you informed. Now, you may be asking why we're taking this particular approach. Well, first, it's based on your feedback. Just under 250 families took part in our reopening survey. And while all indicated a desire to get back to on-site worship, there was a clear majority of respondents who expressed a desire to do so slowly and with great care. A majority also indicated that they are most comfortable worshiping online for the time being. That's why our 9 a.m. service will be very simple. First, to help ensure that we can do it safely and thoughtfully, and second, to allow for our resources to be stewarded properly, making sure that our online service remains excellent knowing that many of you will be attending from home for some time. Many of you have already taken advantage of the resources our team are putting together to help serve you and your family during the quarantine. Those resources are gonna to continue to be made available for the foreseeable future, and you can access them at stmarkhouston.org slash resources. There, you'll find weekly downloads and videos from our St. Mark Kids team to help you nurture the faith of your preschool or elementary student, and you'll find a list of ways to serve locally and help others. You'll also see links to request a visit from an elder, a list of Bible studies meeting via Zoom, and access to Right Now Media, which is kind of like Netflix for Bible studies to help keep you growing in your faith while at home. Now, what about our school? How did distance learning go? And what are our plans for this summer and beyond? Great questions. To give you the details, here's our executive director, Dallas Lusk. Hey, St. Mark. First, I can't say enough good things about our school team. Our teachers adapted beautifully and worked diligently to partner with parents at home as we carried out distance learning for the fourth quarter. Thank you parents for your efforts as well. Right now, preschool through eighth grade are putting the wraps on another successful school year, including an in-person divine service graduation. Our early childhood team has been amazing. They continue to serve the needs of essential workers through the pandemic, and we will begin to expand those services back to full capacity with the goal, along with the rest of our school, to open in full this fall. And it is our plan, Lord willing, for us to open back up completely as scheduled for the fall with an even larger enrollment. Summer camp begins for us June 1st for students in preschool through fifth grade. That gives us a great opportunity to continue to monitor and to strengthen our procedures that keep everyone safe on campus. We will have additional scenario plans in place to make sure that online learning is even better than it was this spring, should another quarantine come our way. Let's all pray that that's not necessary, and let's remain hopeful and confident that our plan to be fully open happens. But no matter what, I promise we will be ready. As a dad of a pre-K student, I can confirm that our entire program cares for and educates our children really well and did amazing things during this pandemic. Uh, one more thing for Dallas. Can you talk to us about how things are going financially here at the church? Stewardship at St. Mark, while certainly affected by the coronavirus, has stayed relatively healthy, and that's due to you, the people that have called St. Mark home for generations, and those that have just recently found us online. You, being faithful in your tithes and your offerings, dropping them off at church, or signing up for online giving, 
And if by chance you have not been able to give during this time, but would like to, I encourage you to come to the church and give a gift. Or better yet, head to stmarkhouston.org slash give to set up electronic recurring giving. Likewise, thank you so much for your faithfulness to the Imagine More campaign. Gifts continue to come in and construction on our renovation phase is moving forward. I can't wait for you to see the sanctuary. There is still a need for more gifts to Imagine More to get us over the top in this project and allow us once the sanctuary is complete to begin renovating our entryway. For more information and to make a pledge, you can head to stmarkhouston.org slash imagine. But know this, we are so thankful and so humbled by your generosity. Thank you, Dallas. And, and thank you to all of you watching for trusting us and for staying committed and connected to St. Mark during this strange season. We promise to keep you informed, so stay tuned. And should you have any need, don't hesitate to reach out to us directly. Our office is now fully open and our inbox is always available. We love you and we can't wait to see you in person soon.